Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look that I am wearing right now. So it's just a purple spotlight eye. Uh, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know this is not something that people would like, well, I say people would wear every day, but I'd wear this every day. I don't care. I like colourful makeup, I like dramatic makeup, and I literally do not care because to me makeup has no rules. Like when people are just like, mmm. Boys don't like it when you wear colourful eye makeup. Boys don't like it when you wear that much highlight. Like, mmm. I don't give a crap. I'm not here for a boy. I'm here for me and I'm here for makeup. So if a boy doesn't like the makeup that I do, he can go. Like, be honest, he said. Boy, bye. Yeah. But yeah, we'll actually stop blabbering now, so. I'll let you guys just watch the video and I hope you all like it. So first thing is eyebrows that we're starting off with and I'm just going to use Anastasia's Brow Definer in the shade Auburn. Start with a spoolie and just brush the brows up into place. And then I just start filling them in. Um, like kind of where they where it arches, like on the um, on the bottom, just because that's where my eyebrows are most sparse. take Urban Decay's Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I don't know why they have to name it something that long. That's what it looks like. And I use the shade Light Warm. I like it to be more like, I like them to look quite fluffy, like on top, but then I want them to find underneath. Best of both worlds. going to take Max Brow Set. Let's do it like lots of different colours. So obviously the coloured ones would add like a little bit of a tint to your brows, but I just have the clear ones. I'm just going to prime my eyes next, and I'm just going to use Max Soft Oak Paint Pot. So I always set my um, primer as well. So I'll just use any powder to do that. This is just so that you don't have to, um, I cannot get my words out. This is just so that you don't have a tacky base when you're like trying to blend your eyeshadows. It just makes them blend out easier instead of them clinging to any certain areas because that really bugs me. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to take is Saucy Miss by MAC which is this one right here. And I absolutely love this palette. It's just full of loads of different bright colours. They're all by MAC. Um, and the brush I'm using is the E25 by Sigma. So I'm just applying this into my crease and I'm just blending this out in windshield wiper motions and also in circular motions. So this is my transition shade. And I'm just making sure that I get that into the inner corner as well as on the outer. Oh, and if you're wondering why I've suddenly switched to a voiceover, I just could have decided if I wanted to do this video as a talk through or if I wanted to do a vo voiceover for it. So I ended up changing my mind. I had music playing um, at this point in the when I was filming, so I had to kind of mute that out and do a voiceover for it. But I'll go back to a talk through in a little bit, so I'm sorry that you're going to have to deal with my terrible voiceovers for now. But um, all I did is just carry on building that colour up applying it to the bottom lash line as well just to make sure everything is connected and blended out because I want it to look seamless. I do not like harsh lines whatsoever. I'm going with Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette and I'm just going to use this shade right here called Ribbon. I don't know if you can see. And on that same brush and I'm just going to I've got are all shimmery and it's really irritating so I can't do too much with them. Um, if 
anyone have any suggestions like purple matte eyeshadows whatever kind of colour it is, whether it's like bright purple or really dark purple, whatever it is, let me know because I need to get some new ones. <laughs> Defined crease brush, so that's all it looks like. Velvet from that Kat Von D palette again, the Metal Matte palette. I'm gonna try and keep this even lower, like a little bit more onto my lid, like not on this. I'm trying to avoid the center, it doesn't really matter if you get a bit of eyeshadow there because you can clean it up if you need to. Um, but just to make it easier on myself, I'm trying to avoid that area as much as possible. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it on first just to pack the colour on. And then I'm just gonna take the um, Sigma brush again just to make sure I keep blending it out. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until I've got it how I want it to look, until it's like as deep as I'm wanting it. And I'm also gonna take it on my lower lash line as well. Next I'm just taking this eyeshadow from the company palette again called Bone, it's just like a really pale cream colour. I'm just going to apply that just to my brow bone. I'm going to use a pigment for this, this is from MAC. I have only just bought this, I have not even used it yet and I am so excited, I cannot pronounce this whatsoever, like I can't say it, um, but it's called Hitchmas. Of course, I am going to spray that with some Fix Plus from MAC, so I'll just spray my brush with that just to make it a lot more intense and then I'm just going to apply it right on the lid. and then I will be right back. I just popped on some mascara and some lashes. Um, the lashes I'm wearing are Dodo lashes in D201. Um, I also popped um, some black liner in my waterline and then I also put a pop of Makeup Geek's Phantom um, duochrome eyeshadow on the inner corner as well. So now on to the base. For my base, I did already prep my skin before I did any of my makeup using Fast Response Eye Cream, um, Essential Oils Stick, Complete Comfort Cream and Fix Plus all by MAC. Um, so now I'm just going to go and prime my skin for my foundation. So the primer I'm going to use today is by Urban Decay, it's their self adjusting primer. Uh, it just looks like this. So they recently brought out four new primers. They've got the self-adjusting one. So this is for like pigmentation. What does it say on here? Um, adapting pigment, soft focus effect and shine control. Shine control doesn't matter for me, but I have really discoloured skin and this works absolutely amazing. Foundation. I'm going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Light Wonder and I have this in the shade 2 because I am very fair so that's what it looks like. It's like a light to medium coverage. I'm just going to use um, Zoeva's 102 Silk Finish Brush which, which looks like that. Mine's very very dirty. I apologise. And 
then I'm just gonna go in with that Urban Decay concealer again in light warm. Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade um, Light Plus. I'm going to take um, Nars' Laguna Bronzer, just looks like this. I'm going to use my trusty Zoeva 126 brush for this. I also love this brush bronzer. on a Spectrum brush. I do not know the name of this because it has worn off. A05, I can only just see it. it's an A, A05. This is from the, um, the Glam Clam collection. For highlight, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's highlight. Oh, I'm going to go with Urban Decay's highlighter in the shade Sin and I'm just going to use this Anastasia A23 brush. like it. If you have any like video suggestions or anything um, that you'd like to see just drop them in the comment section. I hope you like this makeup look. I hope you guys like my videos as well. Like, if you've got any constructive criticism whatsoever just tell me because it does help me out a lot like seriously it does. Um, so just let me know and thank you for watching so i'll see you on the next one or on instagram because i post more frequently on there although not recently i need to get back to posting on there so yeah see you guys